from my heart and from my hand. Why don't people understand my intention? So good morning. Uh, on the last video, you saw me install the engine, and there was something I just forgot to point out uh, when doing the engine. I'll just turn you around here. So when you are using these adjustable engine supports or struts, you should always check to make sure that the engine is actually level in its chassis. Now at the moment this one is just slightly off because it's actually on the ramp, but when it goes down on all four of its wheels, we will double check to make sure that it's actually level. The reason for doing this is just to make sure that there's no oil gathering uh, at the bottom of the engine and that you're getting good circulation. So, so the last few days we've been focusing on attaching some of the supporting components for the engine. Um, Cut-off switch is installed. Uh, also the valves, the carbon canister, the radiator overflow and also obviously mounting plates for ECU, horn, etc, etc. But we did hit a bit of a speed bump because the new engine harness is not going to be ready for a few weeks. Uh, there's quite a backlog of auto sports in the UK. So uh, we then turned our attention to some other bits and pieces, uh, some outliers that we could get done. Obviously, before you put the windows in, you have to have the top dash pad in anyway. So we are starting to do the uh, dash pad, as you can see. And the next job is actually to start doing the real parcel shelf. You can see here, we'll cut and install that. But actually today, the main focus is to finish off installing the automatic gearbox. Uh, because we need to rebuild the shifter and put the new actuation cable in and then we'll fit it underneath the car. So, uh, let's crack on with our job and uh, see what else we can get done today. So, we've got to strip this one down and uh, replace it with a new cable and uh, limiter. Uh, as you can see, this is the model that has the uh, park on it, so it's the later model and this one's in pretty bad condition so I just want to outright refurbish and uh, rebuild but the recess is there to do that so we've got to figure out how to loosen uh, this particular piece for this to then drop into so let's see I'm just trying to bring that closer to the camera so maybe you can see it so this is the piece you need to take out and that's gonna go there. <clears throat> so if you can see this, bring it closer so you can actually see. There's a uh, nut on the end underneath there. You need to take that off in order to transfer it across.
this is the top side that goes against the shifter. So basically, this goes into that slot. So, in much the same way that all mini shells are drilled for left hand drive or right hand drive, it's the same when it comes to the gearbox uh, because the plate that fits the manual or the automatic is exactly the same and in fact this shell was originally a manual so I'll show you how that just dropped straight into this body shell. set the shifter to neutral and gone two clicks down on this before fastening down the cable it's pinched up here as well you can follow it back to the inhibitor switch everything is in place so just need to put the cover back on and fasten the cable down to the chassis and that's it automatic shifter installed so, there you go, all buttoned up, I did drill out these holes a little bit larger because it's really difficult to get this in, uh, just out to 8mm but the holes are already pre-drilled uh, because of the, uh, the manual gearbox and of course the last piece then is to install the indicator paper Clip, and obviously that gets fastened in place once we've got the carpet in and then finally the gear shifter knob so there you go automatic into a manual shell so now the shift is installed, we can move on to the back of the car and start to look at installing the fuel tank and the lines. And then obviously we need to assemble the doors, uh, but that will be it until the harnesses arrive, because uh, obviously without the harness I cannot put in things like the roof liner, the windows, etc, etc. So, yeah, thanks for listening and uh, look forward to talking to you soon. Stay safe. Bye-bye.